Hey, I'm Hannah Trigwell, and today I'm going to be answering some questions from my Patreon peeps. For those of you who don't know what Patreon is, I have a page on there, and it's essentially a crowdfunding platform, and I use it to get feedback on my new original song demos every month, and I share behind-the-scenes stuff there, and I share personal stuff and career updates. So the people who support me on Patreon get to hear all of the new music first, and they get to give me constructive criticism on new original song demos and their support gives me the freedom and like the time to dedicate to writing new music and recording it and releasing it so I'm super grateful to everyone who supports me there on Patreon. Let's get into these questions. Ellen Wilson asks what's your dream guitar? This is a toughie for me. Um, it's mainly a toughie because I feel like I've already got my dream guitars and I'll show you quickly. This guitar is a Faith Blue Moon and the tone is unreal, the grain is unreal and it's made of mango wood and it's just, I just love it. This is another Faith guitar, this is a Blood Moon, it's a slightly different, more red finish. It's Japanese Trembezi wood, I mean... I mean, look at that. So I love the look of those acoustic guitars and they sound awesome. This was and still is my dream electric telly. Uh, this is just an American standard in a natural gloss finish. This is one of the first guitars that I ever bought and I got it with my first student loan. As soon as that student loan came into my bank account when I started uni, this is what I got. Never told my parents that and had to live on some not greatly nutritious food for a while. Um, a lot of pasta, a lot of beans, uh, but it was worth it. So nice. And the tone is unreal. Telecasters in general are just great. I think in terms of another dream guitar, I'd love to get a Gibson 335. I like the shape of them. I just think they're really cool. And hmm, I've never been a massive Strat girl, but I do love Fender. And the new Acoustasonics look awesome. So yeah, that's it's a tricky one, really. I, I mean, I love guitars, but I'm not like a massive guitar nerd. So the guitars that I've got right now, I'm super happy with. And as I say, like, I love Fender. Gibson 335's amazing. There are some PRS guitars that I just think look really hot but just probably not really my style in terms of type of music I would create with them. Michaela Lyman asks if everything in the universe, including atoms and particles, stop moving, does time stop? Or does time continue even if everything is frozen? That depends what your definition of time is. If everything stops so that nothing decays and there are no changes in atoms or anything at any level or does time continue even if everything is frozen i think time stops or at least time stops for the individual things that are frozen she said she was asking for a friend so uh yeah i would tell your friend that as an expert with uh time and particles time stops for the particles that have stopped yeah, that's what we'll say. Nathan asks, favourite animal and why? I love cats. I love them because they are cute and cuddly and they look after themselves. And that is what I aim to do too. <laughs> I think if I was an animal, I would either be a monkey. I've just always felt that that's what I would be. Or I would be something that gets to lie down a lot. Um, well, no, that's wishful thinking, really. What would I be? I think if I was an animal, I would probably be a cat because they get to lie down a lot. I think they're quite intelligent creatures and hopefully at some point I will consider myself a very intelligent creature and also get to lie down a lot, so cats. Chris Irian asks, are you going to make another album? It was always my plan to make another album but whether it's another album or whether it's an EP, I think what I will do is drop song by song. Um, and that's been my plan for the longest time as well. And I have currently have six songs recorded, ready to go. I'm just planning out the release right now. Um, and I'm not gonna drop them all at once because when I first released an album, I really enjoyed the process of it 
But when the album, you know, I released a few singles up to the release of the album. And then when the album came out and they were all out, of course, the singles got more attention than the other album tracks. And there were some album tracks that I felt like were so good and just um, I didn't give enough focus or attention to and didn't kind of drive people to listen to them. And I, I wish I had have done that. And so in the future, I just want to focus on each song as it comes out so that I can um, give it the attention it deserves, I guess. Or it's not necessarily about the, the amount of people streaming the song. It's just that the level of work that goes into one song and like the emotional outpouring that goes into one song, I want to make it count not in terms of like numbers count but make it count as in make it you know a specific project each time a song comes out speaking of new music here is a little snippet of a new track that's coming soon so blind in the night you're breaking my fall i don't want to wake up 10 years from now and time has run away and we're worried about Risks we didn't take Cause we figured it out And got comfortable Too comfortable Eleanor L asks Do you ever struggle to finish a song? Yes Yeah, a lot And if so, what do you do to overcome it? So, um, sometimes I struggle to finish a song Because I'm not into it <laughs> And in that case I actually just leave it or I kind of save the part that I like and keep that idea for a future song or like a future collaboration. Or maybe it's something that like I've written a chorus for, but actually it needs somebody else to feature in the verses. So I save those ideas. Um, for other songs that I struggle to finish, I either force myself to do it and put placeholders in there if I'm not happy with the lyrics, or I give it a bit of time to breathe. So. Sometimes I struggle to finish a song because I'm not very inspired or the ideas just aren't coming very naturally. So I'll go off and do something else or um, go and do something as mundane as like doing some washing up or like drive or just, just something completely different that isn't music. And then I do find when I come back to those songs that I've struggled to finish that I can just come up with ideas much easier and those ideas fit much better because I'm in, uh, you know, I've had distance from the song and I've had the space to allow those new ideas in. If I'm struggling to finish a song that I've started writing myself, it helps to take it to somebody else as well. Um, and that means that you are then co-writing the song with the other songwriter. But often that's worth it because they bring ideas that work really well and work much better than your forced ideas would have. Ben Tallarico says, have you ever thought about live streaming music on Twitch? I was surprised to find a very big and supportive music community there. Mm, I've heard a lot of good things about Twitch actually and I've looked into it like at a surface level and I think it looks great and it's something that I just need to set up and do. I, I have wanted to do it for quite a while but I just haven't focused any time onto creating my profile there on Twitch and actually making it something that I can do. Um, so yes, I have thought about it, but I haven't done it yet. But I'm hoping to do it at some point this year. Kat and Maja say, if you could be in any movie, which character in which film would you play and why? I think that The Notebook is probably the only like romantic chick flicky film that I've ever liked. <laughs> and um, yeah, I would be, I would be, I, I'm not sure what she's called, but I would be the main female character in the notebook, but the male character would be played by a female. And um, <laughs> that's what it would be. And I would be in that film because I think it's beautiful. But also, I think it would be fun to cry on demand and have to do the emotional scenes. Yeah, that's why I would do it. Is that weird? Maximilian Hines says, when will there be new merch? brackets when <laughs> yes there will be new merch i'm working on new merch today right now actually once the new music starts coming out kind of early summer there will be new merch to go along with that so keep a look out thanks for watching this video if you want to know more about patreon and what i do on there i've popped a link below in the description and otherwise i will see you soon